Hello, my name is Horst Jagmeng. I am a member of the leader team of the Seixel Support Campus in Aachen and I want to introduce the Seixel NBG 6615 MIMO rotor to you. First we're going to have the unpacking session where we look into the box of the device and after that we do the first installation and settings to the device. Let's have a look at the box content. The box comes with application diagrams on the back side. The box content consists of a user manual, which is the quick start guide in different languages, one version including English and German, with the first setup and the access to the device. And the second version is for Eastern European area. Also, you find the FCC declaration of the device and the hardware which consists of the device itself, having the device with a power connection for LAN ports and a wide area network connection and four MIMO antennas, two for each wireless network. Also a LAN cable and the power socket to connect the device to the mains. The connection to the mains is easy there's no power on button, so you simply connect the device on the back side to the power socket and then the power supply into the main socket. The device boots immediately, so the power LED is on, the wireless for 4G and 4G is on, and then you can connect your computer to one of the yellow marked LAN ports. The blue connection is for internet access. Let's have a look at the configuration screen of the device. Make sure that you connect to the correct address with 192.168.212.1. The credentials are username admin and 1234 to log in. And then you have to change the password. Use one with characters 8 to 30 uh, characters with no specific signs. When the new password is applied, we reach the main page with two options to install. One is the wizard setup and one is the advanced setup and you can choose your language. We take the wizard setup and the device offers you also the two possible operation modes, which is a router or access point. On router, you have the opportunity to have a static IP as DHCP client. You can connect with PPPoA to a modem and PPTP. Then you can set the wireless, first the 2.4 GHz, give it a name for the SSID, and then choose the channel width. Also, you can uh, use a channel selection, which could be required if there are many access points in your neighborhood and you need to fix it to a channel. Use the channel 6, 9 or 11, which are the most common free channels for wireless. We take it to automatic. In the next screen, you can set the security for the first 2.4 GHz network. Make sure that the pre-shared key is noted exactly the way you key it in. You can also have a compatibility to the WPA older version. In the second step, we uh, set the wireless 5 GHz and also give a new wireless name to this. Here we choose a different one to make a difference. You can also have the same name. Channel selection and channel width could be standing to automatic. And also here you need to put a new security inside. Make sure to have this password noted down and key it in exactly the way that you set it here. 
then the changes will be applied to the device in a few seconds and the first basic configuration is done. Of course the device uh, reminds you to have an update on the firmware version. We just do a check on it. The firmware upgrade can be downloaded from our FTP server. Here it's the ABMV version 3 and the latest firmware is already the ABMV version 3. You can download it by clicking on the link and then to upload it to the device. In the left side menu you have different options to set up the device in the advanced mode. One point is the network which is for the two wireless segments, the wide area network uh, settings to the LAN. Then you have the security setting for the firewall, specifically filtering and services and a MAC filter to exclude specific clients from the network. Also you can do routes to devices that you want to have as an access to the internet, the tools for the operation mode, which is important because the device can be a router and can be also an access point. If you switch to access points, you have to regard that the LAN ports are bridged together. There's no uh, DHCP anymore and the own address of the device is set to 1.2 at the end. For any question about our products or for multiple help, visit our support portal under support.zyxel.eu. You can find more than 600 help articles in different languages as well as videos and our demonstration lab. This was the introduction of our Zyxel NBG6650 MIMO router. If you like our unboxing videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell if you want to be notified. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. We're Zyxel and we're your networking ally.